the problem is they're striving. You strive for air. I don't strive. The money comes to me. Why? Because you become the type of person that attracts money. How? Position yourself in the right rooms. Read the right books. Think the right thoughts. Develop the right frameworks. I think we find ourselves in a situation with, with truth where people uh, don't like it. And they don't like it because it's a mirror that reflects who they are. And when you get a true reflection of who you are, it can be offensive. And sometimes you need to be offended in order to change. Because the first step to solving a problem is to realizing that there is one. And what I did when you're asking what was this pivotal moment is I realized, bro, I'm going nowhere. The decisions that I'm making, the food that I'm eating, the people that I'm hanging out with, it's all I have to do, stop for five minutes and evaluate. Where is this leading me? Nowhere. I need to change. What do I need to do? Like you said, I need to test different shit. I need to take the scientific method, take an idea, take a thesis, conceptualize it, break it down, test it, implement it, reach a hypothesis, and then iterate, 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 iterate till you find truth. And when you find truth, you'll know it. Would you recommend psychedelics for us? For sure. 100%. After conversing with you guys for a couple minutes, there's a, there's a few things that I've identified, if I may be frank. One is mental limitations. Verbiage is extremely important. How you speak about yourself, how you speak about opportunity, how you see the world uh, needs to be seen from a place of abundance and opportunity, not from a place of scarcity and need. And a lot of people, whether they believe it or not, they operate out of a place of scarcity and need and fear because they haven't developed the mental framework of believing and confiding in themselves and trusting themselves.